Hi, Greg here, tea drinking hacker with today's tea, which is a lovely red tea infusion um, with chocolate pieces and rosebuds. Yummy tea, very fragrant, has my whole office lit up. Shout out to Tori for um, today's tea choice. So, my thoughts on RSA um, and what it means for the security industry from a customer perspective as well as from a vendor perspective. At RSA this year, I took away two huge things, two different approaches, similar topic but different approaches. And I think it means a maturing in the cybersecurity space. Approach number one was, and this was the marketing all over the streets from one of the big vendors, not gonna call the name. You wouldn't drive a car made out of parts of 50 different cars, would you? So why would you do that with cybersecurity? The other approach to that also, they mentioned, you wouldn't fly a plane made out of parts of 50 different planes, so why would you have a security infrastructure built out of 50 different vendors? That was one approach. The next approach was, together is power, your security tools working together to make you more secure. Another approach to that was, together is power, cyber criminals share threat intelligence, why shouldn't we share threat intelligence? Why shouldn't we work together? Two interesting approaches. My take on it is the following. The cybersecurity market, so the vendors, the consultants, have built this Frankenstein by years of selling widgets and products based on a specific or to address a specific attack or problem type. So years ago, APTs were the big problem. We built tools to address APTs. They addressed APTs well, nothing else well. Now, ransomware is the big problem, today's big problem. So there's a bunch of tools out there that address ransomware well. What that leads to is a very diverse, split up infrastructure that you, Mr. Customer, needs to have to address all the different types of problems you may come up against. Um, that meant that paradigm, there's a shift coming to it. And that shift is whether you get your tools all from one vendor, you know, the, the, not 50 different vendors, but one vendor, we're addressing all the problems. Or the other take on it is, regardless to the 50 different vendors you've gotten your tools from, those tools will work together so that they address all of the problems. That allows, those approaches allow, hopefully, for a tool set that morphs and changes as the, the attack vectors and as the marketplace changes, as the threat landscape changes. I think it's a very mature outlook. So I'm going to leave you with two things to kind of chew on. One, when looking at security, make sure that there is a measurement component to your security. What do, what do I mean by that? When someone is proposing you, hey, you know, buy XYZ, there's got to be a way for you to measure did this product strategy or solution infrastructure measurably improve my security efficiency and my security effectiveness. And the key word there is measurably. You need to be able to look back three months, six months, five months in the future and say, hey, this is where we were, this was the baseline, and this was the improvement, or there was no improvement. Then you know you need to adjust. Point number two, threat intelligence has to be shared between security infrastructure. So your next gen firewall detects something, it can't just benefit the next gen firewall any longer. It has to share across to your endpoints and everything in between. Vice versa for your endpoints up to your um, you know, networking infrastructure as well. Whether, and this needs to be quite honestly, whether it's from the same vendor or not, because most vendors don't have a next gen firewall solution as well as an endpoint solution. At least they won't do all of them well. So you need to be able to choose whichever vendors you happen to have and have those products work together. On that note, remember to click here to subscribe. Um, if you're into cybersecurity, hacking, or T, we got something for you. Um, also, got a new blog post up. It's down below in the description. Go ahead, take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Um, and I'm going to close on this. What are your thoughts on conferences like RSA, DEF CON, even FSISAC? Are they good? Are they bad? Or, like one guy on Twitter said, they're the forthcoming of the apocalypse. Let me know. Let's discuss it in the comments below. Remember to subscribe. Tea Drinking Hacker, out.